vibrate in the place As you add some heat they vibrate at a faster pace The temperature increases nice and steadily To calculate the joules you need use MC Delta T But once the silent heats up to melting temperature They start to move too fast to stay together anymore The temperature stays constant as the melting moves along Using heat of fusion to get joules for this ain't wrong To melt the solid you must add heat at a steady rate Sounds like this changes endothermic Don't you think so mate? Once all the solids melted and liquid's all you got Temperature will rise once more until it gets real hot The molecules of liquid and faster with Heat. The liquid gets less viscous and easier to beat To get the joules you need to make the temperature to rise Use MC Delta T once more and now here's a reprise MC Delta T said MC Delta T MC Delta T That's calorimetry yo That's right dog of the liquid gets so high that it equals surrounding pressure that's coming from the sky then the liquid starts to boil bubbles start to form the temperature stops rising although it feels real warm as the liquid molecules break free and form a gas heat of vaporization is what you need alas this changes endothermic heat will get sucked in Attractive forces disappear, let gaseous phase begin. So that is how a heating curve can be made in the lab. Now you can go tell all your friends the secret you can blab. Heating stuff from solid to a liquid to a gas is an endothermic process. I hope you had a Down, it condenses, then it freezes. If it makes it up your nose, then it might make you sneeze. Cooling down the substance is an exothermic change. The graph you get is opposite, so don't think it looks strange. So now you know all that you need about solids, liquids, gas, and how all change in phase really comes to pass. Going up in phase is done endothermically. Exothermic down in phase, I hope you all can see.